Hello everybody, it's Charlie and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I am going to be sharing with you guys some tips and tricks of being a dental nurse. Now we do already have a previous video which I'm going to link up here and in the description box below. That was sort of a part one. Part two is coming much, much later, I know. But these are five brand new tips and tricks which you guys can apply to dentistry. That is brand new information! So without further ado, let's just get straight on with this video. Okay, so I have a little list on my phone, so I'm gonna jump straight in with these tips. Just a forewarning, the very last tip isn't necessarily a dentistry tip, but it's something which you can do to give you a little bit of motivation. <laughs> okay, so tip number one. Now this is to do with when you are suctioning and you're not really sure where to place the suction because of the way the dentist drill is. When possible, suction at the back of the mouth. Now I know this might seem like a fairly standard tip, a lot of people will do it, but I've definitely noticed when we're drilling Drilling, like the central incisors, lateral incisors, canines, sometimes the dentist drill will need to be pointing upwards, which means you get this huge shower of water around the face, which obviously isn't very nice to the patient, and there's not really much you can do to stop that. What you can do is place the suction at the back of the mouth rather than holding it close to the tooth. What this will do is allow any water that's falling down to be caught by the suction so they're not choking on it. Oh, it's choking. He's choking, oh he's choking. So generally you want to have the suction as close to the drill as possible so you can catch the water straight away. But sometimes this isn't always possible because of drill placement or just where you're working in the mouth. And a lot of the time when you're working at the front of the mouth, the water does all like to drip down the back and choke the patient. In these cases, when we are working at the front of the mouth, I always put the suction at the back, just sort of behind the back tooth so that I can catch any water before it actually hits the back of the throat. And obviously when you're doing treatment if you have to keep stopping because the patient needs to cough it can take much longer and it can be uncomfortable for the patient so where possible you want to try and stop this by placing the suction at the back of the mouth okay tip number two is for all you registered dental nurses out there with a GDC number so obviously if you're still training this can still apply to you but you can't do it until you're registered and what this is is to sign up with things like Colgate and Oral-B and when you are signed up with them you will automatically be put in for free samples which means free toothpaste for life so I did this with Colgate because Colgate is the toothpaste brand that I use go on the website and there is a place where you can kind of register your name and you have to put in the practice that you work your name and your GDC number that's why it's essential that you need one because you won't be able to sign up without one once you are signed up you can obviously choose to receive emails or not but when you are signed on with them then you will be eligible to get free samples. Now these will be sent to your practice and they should have your name on because obviously you've registered with them. You can do this with other toothpaste brands as well. So it's worth just looking into all of them and seeing what you can sign up with. So you're gonna be bagging free toothpaste for probably as long as you're a dental nurse for. So moving on now to tip number three. Now this is something that I like to do, not everybody does it, but I personally always take a spare uniform to work and keep it in my locker. And the reason I do this is because if I'm supposed to be on reception one day and I go in, someone ends up going home sick and then I need to cover, I won't have a uniform. Whereas if I've got a spare one in the practice, I know that it's there to use at any point. Obviously, if you do need to use it, you will need to take it home and wash it afterwards, but it's best just to have one in the practice. So even if you know you're in surgery, you won't have to worry about remembering a uniform on the day because it will already be at work. I would normally take it in on the Monday morning and then bring it home on the Friday night if I haven't already worn it. I will admit there have been a lot of times where I've driven to work and gone, oh, I don't have my uniform, and I've had to borrow somebody that does leave their uniform at work. So obviously this is more convenience over anything else. Moving on now to tip number four. 
Now this is something which I don't know why I've never really thought about it before. It kind of just came to me while I was thinking for more tips for this video and I'm definitely gonna start using it in practice. So this is to write yourself instructions for things which you don't use on the daily. So what I mean by this is things like Panavia. Panavia doesn't really get used very often in my practice. So I will probably only use it maybe once every four to six months, sometimes less than that, sometimes a little bit more it's a bit of a give and take, but it's definitely not something that we use all the time. And every time I get it out, I have to remind myself how to use it. And although things like that do come with a little booklet, there's loads of different pages for all the different treatments. Huh? But if you write yourself your own little instructions for it, you won't need to worry about going through this booklet. You can obviously write this to how is best for you to read it as well. So if there's something you don't quite understand in the booklet, you can ask the dentist and then write your own instructions to that so that it makes sense to you. This could also apply for reception purposes. So if you're not on reception very much and you can't always remember how to do things, write them down and keep them in a little booklet just under the desk or something so that when you do need to come to it you've got it there written down so you don't have to ask anybody else and you know how to do it moving on now to my fifth and final tip this like i said is something that's not really dent really dentistry related but it gives you a little bit of motivation what it is is when you're shutting down at the end of the day sometimes i just want to get it done and so i can go home obviously you still need to make sure you're doing this all correctly and following all the correct procedures so in order for me to keep motivated obviously make sure your door is shut and there's no patients around. I like to turn the music up loud enough so that I can sing along and not really be heard singing and that will give me a bit of energy and a bit of jumping spirit just to get things going so I can do it properly. It will also make me want to work harder when I'm cleaning things. If you've got energy, if you've got some motivation, then you're gonna put a bit more effort into it and effort is something you absolutely need to have. It's critical that you have effort when you're cleaning because you can't do it half-heartedly it's got to be done properly if you have something like an Alexa in your practice which we have in a couple of the surgeries I will specifically request certain songs which I know will get me moving and I know will get me motivated if you've obviously just got the general radio flick the general radio up even switch stations so you can find one that's actually playing a song at that time and that way you're gonna be a little bit more motivated I keep using the word motivated but it's the only word I can use to clean your surgery down. That's all I really have to say on that tip. I know it wasn't necessarily dental related but I definitely use that one and I personally think it actually helps me clean better because I'm more motivated to do it. I've got more energy which means I'm putting more effort into doing the cleaning. So I think this is where this video ends today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna try and think of some more tips so I can do another video because I know that these actually do help you guys. If any Anybody else has any other tips and you want to share them pop them in the comment box below and if you would like I can use them in my next video so just let me know if you want me to do that and I can definitely get another one uploaded for you I think that's enough of me waffling on now I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today if you did please give it a thumbs up click that subscribe button down below and then click the little bell next to it so you get notified when I next upload and I will see you guys in my next video bye ya! Yeah.